What is going on cross country? This is Coach Kilgore here to kind of go over the new workout cards that you guys will be receiving in your email. When you first open it up, you might see something like this. It can be kind of confusing. You've got all these tables over here. You really can ignore all of that. The, what we want to focus on is everything here in this area that I kind of got highlighted right now. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in. What you see right before you is a two-day template, day one and day two. And we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into day one. So how to read this in order. You've got your weeks separated by columns right here. So June 1st and then June 8th, everything that's in that column. So that's how we separate our weeks. And then the exercises, you read it from top going down. So A block is two exercises, B block is two exercises, C block, two exercises, and D block, two exercises. Everything that we do, uh, for the most part, is a, is a superset unless specified otherwise, um, which we're, there will be a time for things like that. But for right now, we want to keep it simple and two exercises per block. So right here, everything that is in line with the gray, you've got the narrow split squat and clamshells. You're going to do those together. And with the narrow split squat, if you look closely here, okay, we've got three sets of six reps each row moving down is a set and then it tells you how many reps are in that column okay so what you'll do when you do this workout is in the a block you'll do one set of six of the narrow split squat and then one set of five on each side with the clamshells rinse and repeat back and forth back and forth until all the sets and reps are done for both exercises when you're done with that you move on to b block and you do the same thing there so you're just moving down the sheet performing one exercise after the other, but make sure you get done with all the sets and reps in one block before moving on to the next block, okay? The program that y'all have is only a two-week intro phase, so just make sure you pay attention to these two weeks. There shouldn't be anything right here. These are all empty spots, so that's easy to ignore. Moving on down, once you get done with your primary work in these A, B, C, and D blocks, you're gonna move on to your core work. So you've got Russian twist, shoulder tap, push up plank, and straight leg sit up. Sets and reps are labeled right here to the right, just as it was with these exercises up here. If you have a question on any of the exercises, which I'm sure there will be a few, you can always check out our YouTube channel, which is going to have a lot of these uh, up online, a lot of the ones that kind of have strange names that people might have questions about, we'll definitely put those up there. So be sure to check that out. Now, day two, good news, you read it the exact same way. Uh, you start at the top and then work your way down. As you get it more integrated with our program, as we start getting baseline figures and numbers, these boxes will start getting filled in, like intensities and your weight uh, for each exercise. Those will become custom to you. But right now, this is a general program. We want you doing a lot of these with body weight, just getting good movement quality. That's our big focus here, okay? So read it down, it's the same thing. If you zoom out, okay, you'll see that it's set for a four-day template. There will be periods of training, um, not in season, but there will be periods of training where we might utilize a four-day template. But right now, we just have y'all doing this kind of training twice a week, just these two days. Uh, if you don't wanna use just your cell phone, if you'd like to print these out, this is what I recommend. You highlight the whole area that you want. See if I can do this all in one take. There we go. I hit Command P. And then I'm gonna go in and make sure that I set all of these things the, the way I want it. So this is a little bit of a bonus um, bonus thing for you guys. Let's see. Presets. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, we want landscape orientation. We're going to print our selection. That's the biggest key. So see that right there? And then we're going to mess with our margins real quick. So we're going to set it to align horizontally and vertically. I get rid of all these numbers here, make them all the way small. This way, it looks as big as possible on the paper. Boom, boom, boom. Hit OK. OK, and then if you'll see right there, 
that it's in the middle of the screen. That's what it's going to look like if it comes out on a piece of paper. So if you don't want to use your cell phone, if you don't want to take screenshots and you like having a tangible piece of paper in your hands, that's a way that you can set it up uh, to, to have a physical copy. All right. I hope this has been helpful. Looking forward to meeting you guys and working with you guys. And as always, go Bisons and be safe.